Item 8, resolution recognizing the retirement of Charles Mobley, Daryl Glenn President, Board of County Commissioners. Okay. Commissioners, I move the adoption of the following proclamation recognizing the retirement of Charles Mobley. Whereas the Board of El Paso County Commissioners of El Paso County, Colorado, regretfully acknowledges the retirement of Charles Mobley from the Department of Public Works. And whereas Charles Mobley began working for the El Paso County on the patch crew before making a move to, to street sweeper with transportation in September 1985, spending 15 years in that role before working on road stabilization, 10 years as the general maintenance team lead, and five years as the science team lead. And whereas Mr. Mobley has continuously added to his skills, knowledge, and experience enabling him to better serve El Paso County citizens and assume greater responsibility throughout his county career. And whereas he has had more than 32 years with the Department of Public Works, where he built the tree cutter crew from ground up ran the mowing program, took part in the major cleanup of Ute Pass, picked up thousands of bags of trash and dead animals, made approximately 10,000 road signs, helped coordinate traffic and for numerous disasters, including the Black Forest Fire in 2013, and plowed snow throughout his career, including severe storms in 97, 2003, 2006, and 2016. And whereas during his tenure, Mr. Mobley has experienced and or participated in all of the changes in public works and for the county over the years and was a regular face at groundbreakings and ribbon cuttings. And whereas Charles Mobley trained numerous full-time and seasonal personnel in all aspects of general road maintenance, traffic control, road striping, and sign making and installation. And whereas Mr. Mobley was a Colorado local technical assistance program road scholar and was respected by his colleagues in the Department of Public Works, receiving Employee of the Month honors three times and Employee of the Quarter twice. And whereas Charles Mobley's dedication and diverse experience over the past 32 years has directly contributed to the county's ability to serve each and every citizen. And whereas Mr. Mobley's commitment, experience, and resourcefulness will be greatly missed by everyone in the Department of Public Works. Now, therefore, the Board of County Commissioners of El Paso County, Colorado, hereby proclaim its gratitude to Charles Mobley for 32 years of dedicated service. Done this 22nd day of February 2018 at Colorado Springs, Colorado, the Board of El Paso County Commissioners, Daryl Glenn, President, Mark Waller, President Pro Tem, Stan Vanderworth, Lohinios Gonzalez, Peggy Littleton members, attested to by Chuck Roman, County Clerk and Recorder. Can I get a second? Second. Please come on forward. I see a lot of people are here supporting you and they probably want us to deny this proclamation and not accept your retirement, right? Well, thank you, uh, commissioners, for that proclamation. Um, 32 years passed pretty quickly. Um, people have asked me, how did you do it? And it's always been one day at a time. And uh, also I'd like to extend my condolences to the Littleton family um, for their loss as well. It, it comes bittersweet um, standing before you leaving my county family and rejoining my personal family. Um, most people don't realize that as a county employee, you actually spend more time with your employees than you do your actual family. Um, Easter's plowing snow, Christmas's plowing snow, Thanksgiving plowing snow, fires two o'clock in the morning, floods two o'clock in the morning. So you, you get a real good bond with your coworkers. And this, this group back behind me is just a small group of people that I've come in contact with. And without them, I wouldn't be standing in front of you today. So they get more credit than I should get. Um, they've done a lot of the work, uh, put in the hours. I've been very fortunate to be around a lot of great individuals. And because of that, it made me look good. So I just like to pass on my thanks to everybody that has worked for me 
over these years and made it better for me. Um, I've got two quotes that I, the guys back behind me know that I'm a jokester. So I've got two quotes that pretty much sum up my career. And one of them is, I have done so much with so little for so long that now I can do anything with nothing. <laughs> and as you guys know, the tax dollars don't go far enough. So that's what we do on a daily basis. And uh, I've, for the last 30 years, I have heard, you need to do more with less. Well, this less fella isn't filing any applications. So I, if, if less is out there somewhere, I'd love for him to fill out an application. <laughs> because if we can do more with less, come on, Les. <laughs> so other than that, thank you very much. Um, I greatly appreciate the recognition. It's, it's, been a, it's been a wonderful time, and I will miss it. Fantastic. Thank is, you. There, is there anybody else who wants to come forward? I don't think I can beat the less comment. I think if I were to tell the commissioners the crews were out plowing snow, I think it'd be telling a white lie because <laughs> they're all standing behind me, and that's a testament to what, what you've done. I had an opportunity to talk to Charles a little bit yesterday. You need to understand Charles, and I think that's, that's important. That's, I'm going to talk about him a little bit. Uh, came from Cripple Creek. Um, went to high school in Cripple Creek and eventually migrated down here. But he, what I thought was real important when I talked to him, he met his wife at Cripple Creek who came from Kansas, which is Ingrid. And he says, you know, uh, it was love at first sight, period. I mean, that's all it was. And I thought that was great. Uh, they came down to Colorado Springs and went to college where he got a degree in communications. Um, and then Ingrid got the one in computer programming, I think. So we know where the brains are at there. Um, two children, Jennifer 22. Jennifer, will you stand up, please? Jennifer's going to be an art teacher. So congratulations. Yeah. Thank you for being here, Jennifer. And Jonathan, who's over in Germany, he's an electrical engineer. Uh, with a minor in physics. And I asked him, I asked Charles, I said, well, where did he get that from? He goes, his mom. Um, <laughs> uh, but, uh, uh, but Jennifer got the, the art, art uh, that brain, that part of her brain from dad. So I think that's important. Uh, he's very proud of his family, very proud of his wife. He called his wife a, a county widow. Uh, so uh, if I may, just for a second, digress from you. Uh, Henry, can I get those? Ingrid, could you please come up here? Mm-hmm. On behalf of the Board of County Administr and the County uh, Commissioners and the County Administrator and Department of Public Works, thank you for letting us have him for 32 and a half years. Thank you. Thank you very much. But how did Charles come? How did he come? How did he come to the county? I mean, who, who, who wakes up and says, you know, maybe I'll apply for the county? You know, um, not too many people, uh, but uh, 20 bucks in his checking account, communications wasn't cutting it. He had a face for radio, but it just wasn't working for you, was it? No. And so uh, he, he, he talked to a neighbor who was a retired county mechanic. And the mechanic says, hey, have you ever thought about applying for the county? He goes, well, no. So within, what, two weeks you applied and, and you were working. And as a result of that, his son did some internship with us on general maintenance and eventually in our inspection section uh, as he was going through college or prior to going through college. So it's a gift that we received today. Uh, it's unfortunate. I think the most important thing a person can give us is your time. Um, and, and I want to just personally thank you for your time. 32 and a half years. Thank you, Charles, so much for everything you've done for us. Fantastic. Is there anybody else who want to make any comments? Roy Wiedela, the highway manager. I, I had a lot to say, but Charlie said most of it. But I've been in the business for about, this is my 35th year. So I think I can say a few things about public service. It takes a lot of dedication. Charlie said, mentioned all the snows, floods, rains. Well, he's one of these guys. You can't stay in this business for over 30 years 
without being dedicated and committed to the job. And Charlie's been there, I've been with the county for eight years now, he's been the go-to guy. During those floods, rain, snows, you need something done, let's go look for Charlie. He's been there every time I needed him, so I really appreciate it. In those 32 years, I was calculating it, probably about 17 of those years, he's been either on call or standby. So that makes a big impact on his family and, and the lifestyle that we live. So uh, on behalf of everybody here, thanks for everything. Thank you guys. <laughs> I'm Frank Biggerstaff, I'm a highway foreman. Uh, ever since I became a foreman, I've had Charles at my side uh, 10 years now. Every time I needed something, he was always there. Um, personal, I needed, needed to take some time. He was on vacation, he, took, he canceled his vacation so I could take care of a family emergency. And uh, you know, this is the kind of guy that makes you look good. I, I'm not half as good as Charlie makes me look, and um, you know I hope to, you know I'm glad that he's retiring and Ingrid gets to get that remodel done, and uh, you know we'll remodel the shop after he leaves and get somebody else in his place. But um, you you really can't be replaced, and thank you very much, Charlie. Thank you. Jennifer Irvin, County Engineer, on behalf of the engineering staff, who we work closely with Charlie every day, uh, just wanted to thank him for his service. Uh, he is a dedicated employee beyond what you would even hear today. And, um, and something that, you know, we always do stuff at the last minute, it seems like, and he's always been there to help us out. And, and a lot of ribbon cuttings that he's been to and, and making sure that we're set up for that. So just want to thank him for his service. He is uh, an amazing employee that we've had here at DOT, and I've been blessed to be able to work with him and, and all the staff that he's trained and, and making this community a better place. So thank you for your service, Charlie. Thank you. Anyone else before we bring it back up here? Okay, and you will have an opportunity for rebuttal in the event that you hear anything that you don't like. <laughs> Commissioner Waller. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. No, come oh, back here. You I can't got sneak on. I, I, got, uh, <laughs> I got some burning questions I need answers to, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, no, congratulations on a great career. It always amazes me. Uh, everybody that works in this county is here for 30 years or 32 years. That doesn't happen anywhere anymore, and that's a great testament to all of our staff. Uh, that they create such a working environment that we have people that want to work here for such a long time. But here's my burning question I need to know the answer to. What's worse, plowing in a blizzard or picking up dead animals <laughs> off the road? Because that just seems like it'd be a horrible job to me. Um, you, you get used to picking up the animals, to tell you the truth, after you do- That cannot you know, be true. Hundreds Ugh. of them. You, you learn. The first thing that you learn is which way does the wind blow when you get out of the truck. <laughs> that's, that's one of the first things that you learn. I would have to say probably blizzards, major blizzards, mm -hmm. um, because you really don't know what's just past your plow. Um, it could be a car, it could be a person walking in the snow. You have no idea what sort of dangers are directly in front of you that you have to navigate. And it, you, know, you, you go out in what we call short sleeve weather. Um, drive the roads and they all look good and you can see the roads. Well, when you put on that Carhartt jacket and go out in the winter and get in your plow truck, those roads have disappeared. Mm -hmm. It's solid white and you have to try to remember where you were and where those roads are. So it is quite difficult to do in, the, in a blizzard. So I would have to say blizzard nine times out of ten. Um, animals, it, you, you learn which way the wind blows so that it doesn't blow in your face, you're, and you're good. And you, well, thank you for your service. Uh, oh, you're it, it's, man, I, I couldn't imagine having to be out there in that. Um, I was going to ask if you ever ate one of the animals, but I'll, no. I'll let somebody else have it. <laughs> Not that I am aware of. <laughs> 
<laughs> Commissioner Gonzalez. Uh, thank you. And, you know, I just wanted to give you my thanks. You know, anytime, as was already mentioned, th 30 plus years, that, that's um, outstanding. That's dedication. Uh, you know, and that's showing that, you know, love for the people that you work with and, the, and your community. So I greatly appreciate that. And I've gotten to go to a lot of your uh, quarterly uh, uh, award ceremonies and, and just see the people you work with. Just an outstanding crew, a group of people. And I can see why you've been so dedicated and you, know, you have those relationships that you've built for decades. And uh, I, I greatly appreciate that. I great, greatly appreciate the fact that you've trained this team to continue that same dedication to our county and to you know the friendships that you've created. So thank you very much and God bless. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Vanderwood. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Wow, I tell you, 32 years, uh, that's a whole career. It is. <laughs> yes, it is. And I, I wanna thank you for being a community service family and for your family being a community service family. I think that's just uh, fantastic. So, you know, your family is a county family and the county is your family. And you stated that uh, so well. Uh, so I just wanna thank you for all that you have done for us, for the community. Uh, public service um, is a privilege, I believe. And uh, you did 32 years of that. So thank you very much for all you've done for all of us. Thank you. you know, and, and I too wanna to follow up the, the heart and soul uh, of what we do at the county is, is based on our employees and, and your hard work. You don't receive a lot of phone calls when there's, the weather's fine and the, the roads are clear. Uh, it's only when people are, are concerned and you know, whether it's snowing and they want some immediate assistance, you don't get a lot of positive um, pats on the back for a job right. well done. Yeah. And, and it's thankless at times, but really the core of how we do our operations and the services that we provide really rests with you guys. So I think that we really owe you a tremendous level of gratitude and thank you, your team, and all of the employees, but especially you. And, you know, and I'm looking at your wife over there. She's all nice and proud, trying not to cry. Uh, but it, it's so important. It's a family affair. And yeah. I just want to truly thank you for everything that you've done. Well, thank you. Um, the, the last statement that I have to make is that the other departments that I've come in contact with, I've had the privilege of working with facilities and parks and procurement, um, finance, all those other departments are filled with fabulous employees. And, you know, I get the recognition today, but they should get, all departments should get the recognition that they deserve day in and day out. They all work hard. Absolutely. Well said. Well, we're going to officially vote on this, and then we'll take a brief recess for a picture, and then uh, we'll move on. But I will call the roll. Commissioner Gonzalez? Aye. Commissioner Vanderworth? Aye. Commissioner Waller? Aye. And the president votes aye. That passes unanimously with Commissioner Littleton excused. We'll stay in a brief recess for a quick picture. Thank you very much. <laughs>